Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are once again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to venture out again. We are going to be heading to the Weald this time for the first time and seeing how that goes. But of course, we do have some new classes to introduce and this is quite a jam-packed episode in terms of lore for characters and character introductions. We've got four new characters to introduce and we have quite a few different diary entries from various members, so thank you all for adding those in for this episode. But let's get right into the backstories. Uh, the characters that we have that are new are the Cleric Errant, the Mana Arms, the Exterminator, and the Air. We'll introduce the Air a little later when we end up using them. Um, but for this one, we're going to introduce these new guys. Now, one thing I just want to mention before we uh, get into this episode, I'm probably going to be taking on fewer new recruits per episode now, because I think we have a pretty decent roster. The main thing that we are currently very lacking on is backline attackers. So we have our Arbalist, we have potentially Dismus, although not great, um, and that's kind of it. So we really need some backline attackers, some ranged folks. So they're going to be our priority at the moment, such as the Burman and uh, similar classes. So we'll be looking out for those where possible. But let's get right into the first backstory, and we're going to go with the Exterminator first. This is Delmar. This is by Penn Simmons. There's always pests in the hamlet, so there's always work. He checks the connections of the hoses, tightens the bolts, and checks the mixture of the chemicals. It's a routine and compulsion. You can see by the bandages on his face that he will never forget to triple check every part of his tools again. People forget that the poison for these creatures is still poison to the citizens. He is um, thorough then, checking his items off a list in his mind. Traps, collars, vials, bait, first aid and the paperwork that confirms his contract with the court. He bags up every item carefully, separating the items meticulously with a practiced ease of man who has been doing this for far too long. He covers his mouth as he coughs hard. Red splotches cover the rags. Too long. Far too long. He puts um, on his tall boots, long coats, and wraps his hands, covering all the bare skin. Then his goggles and hat. His eyes are tired, bloodshot, and discolored. He knows that his days are numbered. If it's not uh, to the creatures he is commissioned to dispose of, it will be to the chemicals devouring him from the inside that ends him. He leaves a note on the bedside table. A note he places every night. It lists two names and an address and a simple note. If you are reading this, I have died. Please send my earnings and belongings to Eleanor and Tricia, my wife and child. Delmar Indico, Exterminator for the Hamlet. Amazing backstory there. Really, really good. Um, I really like the idea of the Exterminator as a class. He's going to be really useful going out into this mission, actually. I paired him up with some extra max HP just because he doesn't have a lot. Um, he gets um, Sneaky, which is really nice. He does, unfortunately, have Repost Failure, which is a real shame because he has a Repost move. The good thing is this Repost mainly consists of debuffs stun and bleed rather than damage so the only thing that really affects us here is the minus accuracy so we'll see how that goes uh uninspired is also slightly a bit of a problem but that's not too bad but we'll jump in uh here with our cleric errant uh lysander so let's go and get their backstory now. This is actually a backstory that I wrote myself. I don't uh, often write backstories for characters, but I really wanted to have at least one character of my own. And being fully transparent here, I am not a very good writer. I, I, I can... Like, add some detail, and especially with the diary entries, I can do okay, but coming up with a, a unique and interesting story is not my strong suit. So I actually used chat GPT to generate parts of this story um i want to be fully transparent in that just because i think for one it's very interesting how good of a story this came up with um but i do want to say that it's not fully generated i did add to it myself and change things to how i wanted them um but anyways let's get into it so lazando was once a devoted cleric of the god of light and righteousness and a beacon of hope to come for all those in need he spent most of his life tending to the sick and needy However, one fateful day, Lysander was called upon in a small village. As he arrived, he found the village in a state of panic, with reports of bizarre and horrifying creatures emerging from the nearby woods. Despite his best efforts, Lysander uh, was unable to steam, uh, stead the tide of horror that swept through the village, as he soon found himself face to face with a horror unlike anything he had ever encountered. 
The creature, uh, the creature's presence overwhelmed him and he felt his mind slipping away. And he was left with a deep and profound fear of the unknown. Haunted by the experience, Lysander was consumed by his fear and descended into a deep depression. He found himself unable to continue his work as a cleric and he began to drink heavily and neglect his duties. He felt as though he had failed the light and his people. However, one day Lysander re received a message from a small hamlet. The people there were in desperate need of a cleric to help him with a presence similar to that of the horror he had once seen. Lysander saw this as an opportunity to redeem himself, to prove to his god and himself that he was still worthy of serving people. With a heavy heart and a deep sense of shame, Lysander set out on a long and perilous journey to the hamlet, determined to face what horrors lie ahead and to earn his redemption through the service of his fellow man. Again, I, I'm i just amazed by what it came out with. Like, it's the technology now is just absolutely insane. Unfortunately, he is pessimistic. We're going to have to get rid of that. It's super, super problematic and causes a lot of extra stress. Uh, but yeah, this guy, is, he's going to be... A very good healer for us. He's a frontline healer. Um, I have all three of his healing skills on and then the shield bash for the stun as well. We can also go with the hammer uh, that has armor piercing, which is, of course, quite nice. Um, and similar skills like that. But I'm going to mainly just go for the shield bash and the healing skills for now. Um, and then next up, we have our man at arms, which this is a backstory by um, Lamika. As time came to eventually, uh, as, as, sorry, I'll start again. As time came to be, eventually word began to spread around the existence of a remote hamlet in the middle of nowhere. Disgraced and forlorn, now open to hiring whoever offered a helping hand. Masseret not being in search of fame, redemption, coin, or any other altruistic um, or ulterior motive. One such person who heard the call was an old man living alone in a shack. In youth, he was a commander for the high, hi um, for his highness um, armies, a formidable warrior and an expert tactician as well. But his body was not what it used to be, especially not ever since... Dot, dot, dot. Time hadn't shown any mercy on him, and his strength had slowly but surely faded away for a long while now. This he knew. Sent to a distinct, um, this sent to a distant village, he was granted the task of defending it from any possible outside threats. The locals seemed to be most worried about a group of bandits known as the Brigands, so he ordered his men to begin building defenses around as soon as possible. Granted, um, he felt this a bit unnecessary, especially as all this uh, was against a mere bunch of miscreants, but he continued with the plan still. Turned out that the so-called brigands were completely deserving of their reputation. Ruthless, merciless, and with enough forces to rival an army. To say they relished in the bloodshed um, that they unleashed would be an understatement. Coin and blood were what fueled them. Um, they put on the green robes and rejected all semblance of their humanity. The village fell and was razed to the ground. Other than himself and some uh, women and children taken as slaves, there were no survivors. Almost two decades had passed since then, and he was still unable to forgive himself for his failure that day. Consumed by shameful guilt, he exiled himself to the shack that he now resides in, leaving himself to rot, letting time waste him away. At least until a white stagecoach stopped around the area he resided in. Seeing this as a sign, he dressed himself up in the same armour he had left in the dust to claim um, and wield the mace he had sworn not to raise out of shame. Thus the old man, known as Blaise de Carr, I don't know exactly now how to pronounce that last name, uh, and put an end to his reclusion, and was finally ready to set forth into the unknown once more. He had already failed a town in need once, and he would no, um, not allow it to happen again. Very, very good. Really like that backstory there. Like I said, this is a bit of a jam-packed episode. We've basically got 10 minutes of backstory to start us out, but... I like all this lore and stuff. Well, as I said, I set out a, a group here. Uh, we're taking out three of the new classes and rows, just because... I'd rather not take out Rose, to be honest, because she's been out quite a lot, and ca Calm plus Fatigue are just rough. Um, she has a bit less damage than she should. But I'm hoping we can keep this intact, and um, also we've got the extra heal, which is nice. But yeah, Rose is going to be pretty useful. We just need more backliners, really. That's, that's going to be pretty much a necessity. My only worry with this group is we don't have a lot of outright damage. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if I should maybe put on Hammer of Faith, just to give ourselves a bit more damage. But what we'll do is we'll switch to the skill if we need to. 
We don't need to worry about it right now. Of course, uh, we have our Mana Arms Blaze as well. Uh, he's going to be doing most of his damage with Crush and Retribution here, which is quite nice. Um, more likely to be rewarded while praying. Okay, that's kind of nice. And then also I've got both of his buffs on here because they synergize nicely with Sanctification here, which is the next three friendly skills by the target will heal the party for one. It will also buff the target for extra speed. Then we've got Collar and uh, Contain, which is going to debuff their speed and damage. We've got the Trap for that extra uh, stun and bleed. We've got this here, which is amazing. Uh, less stress received, stress reduction, and huge resists to all of our... Um, all of our Blight, Bleed, and Disease, and it's a one bat once per battle use. And then we've also got some stun here as well. And of course, Rose, as as normal, has what she has. We just want to quickly check our camping skills to see um, if there's anything else we might want to we might want to grab here. Because Prevent Nighttime Ambush would be nice if we have it. Uh, there we go. We have Prevent Nighttime Ambush there. Lovely. Okay, this is good. We are ready to go. So into the wield we go. We'll t let's take our provisions. And in the wield, we're going to be taking 12 food, uh, 3 shovels, 2 of these, 2 of these, 1 of them, 2 of them, 1 of them, and we'll take 10 torches. Just 10, there you go. Okay, we are good to embark, and this group should should do pretty darn well, I think. I think we're, we're set and ready for a, a pretty good outing. I'm just making sure everyone can use their moves from the positions they're currently in. Um, this should be pretty good. I am, I'm ready to go. I'm hopeful. Like I said, the only worry for me is that our damage won't be as high as I would have liked. And we do have a pretty um, amazing diary entry to start off here. And this is by Eileen, our ringmaster. So as we saw in the last episode, she really put in some work. And this is by Penn Simmons again. So I decided that it's time to shop for some groceries anyways. And the estate is right there. I found the air brought in some mercenaries that are heading in and I'm joining. Chaos. The barkeep tells me that pit fighter arrived in town, a bull of a man, but why hasn't he entered the ring? He just seemingly drinks and punches things in the dungeon. After I killed the butcher, the circus is hungry for a new brute, and he sounds like a potential butcher, but I don't want some mindless hammer swinging around, and that's the vibe that I'm getting from Chaos. That was, uh, that was the old circus way of doing things. I want to bring a sure. I could join the heir's mercs, grab some neat weapons and trinkets for, from the circus, and maybe, just maybe, I might be able to find or make some characters out of that scared brute. Some character out of that scared brute. I can show him how fun violence can be. Hestia, that woman um, is an animal in all the right ways. I don't know if it, um, if I want her in the ring or my bed. Maybe both. But I'm not looking for a partner. I'm looking for a champion, and she has potential. While Chaos is a bull, Hester is a lioness. She is well trained by her clan and has the loyalty and determination of a true warrior. She enjoys a brawl, but she will um, enjoy being entertained for a crowd. Who knows? It may entice her to know that she can fight and not be kicked out afterwards. I need to convince her that the circus is family. I probably shouldn't tell her how I became the new ringmaster. Dismus. Poor Dismus. He is a kicked dog. A stray. I have thought about adopting, but he seems like trouble. If he could shake his demons, he could probably be a great underdog, a people's champion. There is an element of drama there, but the circus is escapism, and he lacks the extre uh, extremes of a good Sherman. I could use his sticky fingers, though. I'll give him a passing score with room for improvement. That is just fantastic. So if you guys are wondering what exactly that is about, essentially, um, Penn has decided that the way the Ringmaster's backstory and the way that the Ringmaster is going to be doing her diary entries is essentially she's going to be ranking everyone in the Hamlet, every single other recruit for her um, for her circus and see who's the best champion. So she'll be giving people ratings and ranking them as, as they go. Uh, and I think that's a really, really fun way of doing things, to be honest. I think that's just... just I, I really love that idea. So right off, we get some infected nymphs. These are a little annoying, um, but not terrible. I'm going to set up my repost first here. Set down my trap. You might be wondering why I didn't use my sanitize to start. I've, I've got a reasonably good reason for doing that, and we'll, we'll try and show it off. We'll set up retribution here as well for the repost. Now we've got two reposts on our team. Um, and that's because we can do this here, which will buff your speed, which is really nice. Um, we'll buff, debuff uh, the accuracy and uh, crit of you guys. Coming in with the repost, nice, good damage. A little bit of blight there, but that's not too bad. Um, and now we can use this, and it will, yeah, it will heal everyone for one. 
and we'll get that de-stress and everything else. So basically, putting this skill on will allow us to do heals across the board for everyone, which is really, really nice. I'm going to try and do that wherever we can. I'm going to get some more Blight here. But that Repurse comes out again. That shouldn't be too bad. We've got the means to heal here. Nice crit rose. Well done. Amazing. And here comes the Repurse here. There you go. That's the bleed. That's the debuff. Look at that debuff. Minus four speed and all the stuff from Rose as well. Okay, this Blight is getting a little out of hand here. Um, we'll go like that. That'll heal you for two, but it'll also add another two per round. So another four healing total. Um, we'll go for this here. And we get a crit on that. Del Mal. Very well done. We'll definitely clear off some of this because that is getting a little bit wild. And we'll finish off there. Honestly, they, they were weak enemies, but this group, damage-wise, seems absolutely fine. Um, these guys are doing better than I would have uh, expected, so very happy to see it. Grab some more food here. Nice, we can actually use a little bit of that to just heal us up to fall there and not have to worry. And we get another battle here. Another nymph, a few nymphs and a shriekling. Um... Are you, a be you are a beast, so we get 100% stun against you. That'd be a 50% chance of stun. I'm just going to take the chance to deal with this straight away and reduce our stress incoming. Um, again, we'll go like this and reduce their accuracy and crit. And mainly their accuracy, I want to I want to get down. Okay, Rose, a little bit of blight for you, but that's nothing we, nothing we can't handle. Um, one good thing about this as well is 17% damage while guarded, and we actually have the ability to guard here as well, so... This is quite nice. Um, I think we will do this buff to start with here. That's another few blights coming in there. Unfortunately, we didn't bring much uh, blight resist with us, which is a shame. We did take a bit of stress there. Let's go for that and try and stun. Yes, we got the stun. It was only um, a 50% chance, but I thought we'd try it. And we'll, uh, we'll collar and detain you for that lower damage. And then we'll start actually shooting some shots off and getting some damage in. The buzz is a little annoying, but it's not terrible. This is the pessimist coming in here, unfortunately. Glass half empty. Um, right, let's go a bit of healing here. I really like the idea of a frontline healer. You don't see many of them, so it's really exciting to have one. There's that damage there. So this enemy doesn't actually die. It decays. And it can leave behind other enemies. Luckily this time it didn't, but it can. Really should have set up Retribution there. It would have been more beneficial to us. I think setting up our um, our trap and our Retribution is a good way to start combat, to be honest. I should be doing that more often. So this, this guy is healing up there. I'm going to go for a bit of a heal on ourself. And we get a crit there, very nice. Just because this uh, Blight's been problematic for us. And we, we can't actually heal ourselves as this guy. So what we have to do is we have to guard people to heal ourselves. The good thing is, um, this guy has a special thing with this. So this ability heals ourselves, but it also heals everyone else if we guard the person directly behind us. Only if we guard the person directly behind us. Um, if we guard these two, it doesn't it doesn't give the extra healing. So it allows for some good stuff there. We'll go like that. Good damage on that, actually. Um, in fact, wow, I didn't realize that this move has no reduction to damage whatsoever. We should be using that more often. And there's that kill there. Yeah, wow, that's that's really, really, really good from Delmar there. He's got some very interesting moves. I didn't realize this had no damage reduction. Um, in fact, it has a crit mod and good accuracy base. That should actually be something that we use much, much, much more often. Uh, so we'll head this way and see what we can find. Extra bit of loot Finding there. The, stuff is only the, first the wound test. is starting to fester. The flesh around it is grey, flaking home. and rigid. Almost scale-like. As I write this, my breathing has taken on a hollow timber and is more laboured. My compatriots are laughing and telling me not to worry. It's just the salt mist in the air that pervades these caverns. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure about that, good sir. We are taking on a bit, a bit more stress than I'd like here. Um, it's not perfect. But it's fine. Another battle here. We're seeing a lot of these creatures at the moment here. Um, they are a little problematic because they do put on quite a lot of stress. Especially the Shriek here. 
The stress is getting a little out of hand, and we did resist a, d a disease there, which I wasn't expecting, but I'm happy to see we, re we did resist. Again, we'll set up both our traps here early. Both of our repairs to try to... Nice dodge for us, well done. And unfortunately, they called in reinforcements, which I very much do not like. We'll uh, go for a stun here. Unfortunate miss. Wow, that's, 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 that's a real shame. Uh, we'll go stomp out here to uh, get a bit of damage on. Like I said, that, that move is a lot better than I first assumed. Okay, so much stress coming out here. We'll just go for the hit. And we'll stun on you. You're a very low stun resist. You should get stunned easily here. Lowers your speed as well. We've got a lot of things that lower speed, which is really nice. I'll take you out. Decay could end up giving us a maggot. We'll see. There it is, look. Consumes dead meat and fungus of remain, uh, and remains of prey. We need to kill this thing before we kill anything else, essentially, is that what that means. Let's throw this up and try and reduce some stress a little bit here. It's only a little bit, but better than nothing. Um, we're just going to heal here because we can't hit the front line. Okay, this guy, as you can see, did a lot there. He, uh, he devoured us. But, luckily for us... We did a lot of damage on that bleed, and that means he's now dead. Good, good, good. Honestly, Sanctification is one of those skills that I think isn't going to be very good early on, and might be better later, so I'm going to switch it over. Resisted that good. Get some damage on here. He is going to consume the body. Oh, these guys don't leave bodies. Great. Okay, that's good to know. Um, we'll stomp out on you as well for some extra damage and a stun. Yeah, I'm going to switch this out because it, it's good, but it's just actually healing is worth more. So I'm not using it very often. Do another retribution. That still sets up our repair, so I don't mind. And he goes for it. This battle is lasting forever. They just keep bringing in more. Go for the stun on this guy. Resisted that blight, thank goodness. I just want to get the kill on this guy. A little bit of stress relief there. Another kill on you, and hopefully you don't get a chance to call in some more reinforcements before we get to kill you. Good thing this guy has a lot of health, because he is taking quite the beating at the moment. Right. Stomp out, and there's a crit. Lovely. Ooh, we got the Saw Hunter trinket. Very, very nice. That is... That's really good, actually. So, with this guy, let's let's remove that, and let's, let's just swap out our skills here. Let's go Hammer of Fear, Shield Bash, and then these two healing skills. I think that's going to be better off for us, really. Yeah, let's head in. And we got some Exoplasms and some Stress. We did get the Surprise, though, which is really nice. Um, we're not going to be able to kill the stress dealers very, easil very easily, to be honest. So let's just try and lower their accuracy. And of course, that missed. God damn it. Sanitize here. We're going to take on some heavy stress here, unfortunately. Just go hammer a fifth. That is a good amount of damage. Nice. That is going to be problematic if it moves us. It did not. Thank goodness. He is kind of a brick does not move. We are probably going to get a stress check here if these guys don't get taken out quickly. Oh, god damn it. They, they're just focusing him. Oh, lord. Well, this is fucking brutal. My goodness. Let's torch up again here. May we find victory. Holy. Right, we'll guard on you. So, as, as I said, look, we because we guarded the back line, we didn't get the heal on everyone. You have to guard the person directly behind you to get the extra heal. This is rough. That crit helps, though. Is it Blaze? Is that way that was pronounced? Blaze? Blaze? I'm not exactly sure, but either way, I'm happy. Resisted the stun, but I don't really care about that so much. 
Go for that extra heal. Oh, we didn't get the extra heal there either. Okay, I'm unsure exactly what triggers the extra heal, I'll be honest. I thought I knew what it was, but I clearly don't. Watch this stress check coming in. There you go. Oh, wait, Eldritch Punch. That is annoying, but better. There's that hit. And there you go. Okay. We got close there. We got close. This expedition at least Get rid of that blood for now. Success. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay. Let's leave that note for now. Right, this is this this has been stressful for um for our cleric Aaron at least. Lazander. Really taking the heat. Of course, the exterminator should be pretty good at getting rid of traps. Um, but do we have anyone better? No, he's going to be the best. He deals with these sort of things all the time. He's constantly out and about here. I think he, I, th I like to think that Delmar kind of goes out on his own and just kind of lays a, lays a baseline of like fumigating around the uh, hamlet to keep to keep the creatures at bay. So he knows the area pretty well. Um, that's what I like to think, at least. Okay, we're going to have to do this because we need that stress relief. Um, we'll go for a repair set up here. He stress checked himself. Well done. Selfish. Unfortunate. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. But that, that isn't so selfish. Bit of stress reduction there as well. Right, let's just check what we're getting here, so... Lowered stun chance, um, trap is getting demolished, debuff, damage is lowered, our accuracy is lowered, our HP is lowered. Okay, all of this is pretty bad. Um, we'll see if he ends up acting out. That's going to be the main problem if he starts acting out on us. Good repose there, but unfortunately didn't get it. We did unfortunately get dead meat though. Parasites are drawn to us, so when we kill one of these, if it creates a parasite, it's going to create problems for us. Gonna create significant problems. Wing Slam is a stun, I believe. Oh, it's dazed. I forget what dazed does. Let's set up our trap here. Yeah, that's you dead. Please don't create a parasite. That would be very, very problematic for us. Okay, thank God you didn't. Nice damage on you finish you off. Please don't create a parasite. I like the way it's stuck to his shield there. It looks cool. No parasite. Nice. Did leave some, some meat behind, but that's fine. Because we have the, the ability to go through prot here, this is a very good move for us. Armor piercing. Also, the extra damage against stuns is potentially useful later down the line. Nice damage there. Okay, there's Dazed. Dazed is just a delayed stun by the looks of things. Take you out. Lovely. We can leave that behind. Actually, we don't have to leave it behind. We could just lower her speed slightly and take it. I'm going to continue adventuring here. I'm pretty happy with where we, where we look like despite this stress. Um, we've got more to search. I'm going to take a risk and get rid of this other key. Right, back we go. In fact, let's eat some food on you. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require Obviously, we could come across the, the collector board. here, which would be pretty problematic. Um, but if we do, I'll, I will just back straight out of that fight. It'll in incur some stress, but... I'd rather that than anything else. The light. Oh, unfortunately, the we have no uh, medical herbs here. Okay, slightly harder fight than we've been seeing so far here. Um, definitely want to go for the resists there. The, the blight resist mainly is, is what we care about. That's a mark on you. Don't worry about it though, these guys are ready to rough and tumble. Resisted that. Lovely. Go for a slam on him because we go straight through that prop. 
try and take you out. We'll start healing up next turn. Oh, unfortunate dodge on that repost there. That would have been a, a nice kill. I like the way that these two are paired together at the minute, and they're both shield-wielding we people that are on a redemption arc. I like that a lot. Let's clip you to stop you from dealing good damage. Oh, the dodges are coming in hot at the minute. Nice crit, Rose. Rose always comes in with these clutch crits, I swear. It's really nice. Good resists. And here we'll go for the self-guard here. That's a huge heal on us. Uh, yeah, if anyone could figure out what triggers the the heal on everyone else, I'd be very, very happy about that. Because I, I currently have no idea. Unfortunately, he did get that blight on us. That's a good hit there. Take you out. More blight on us there. Wow. It's not great, but it's fine. Heal up a little more. We've got the defense on him, so he's okay right now. Finish you off with the butt of our gun. You're going to take a bit of a beating, I think. Get that heal on there. Get that heal on there. I looked at camping skills and realized it's only a short mission. I don't need to camp. Again, we'll clip him. Good damage. Seven extra heal there. It's nice. Oh, one damage isn't bad. And we'll finish you off. Oh, really? Go for that. There you go. Um, clearly definitely want the busts here. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Get rid of the holy water. Take the busts. Dude. Goddamn herbs. Really? I was like, let's just check this. Accidentally walked a step forward and we get a battle. Really wasn't looking for a battle here. Let's stun this guy off the bat here. What? He resisted that? Okay, to be fair, it was 70 versus 25. That's not crazy that he, that he managed that. Bolster here. He refu Delmar refused the buff, which is a bit annoying, but understandable. There it is. Look, we got the full group heal there. Maybe it's if it's on like the first turn, potentially. If it's like early on in the battle. I'll have to try that in the next battle if we get one. Take you out. Good, good. This guy can really do some crazy damage, so we've got to be careful of him. It's whenever he does the, the charge. Get this going. Ah, oh, unfortunate. That's such a cool animation, that hammer. Get damage on. It's basically all we can do right now. The Savage Maul is coming in. That is just such a huge, huge hit. Um, let's call her and detain you. We'll go for a heal here as well. Good, good. Let's set up Retribution here. Wow, the misses from uh, Blaze here are just unfortunate. Not going the way I'd want to at all. This time we got the stun at least. Lovely. And there's the hit as well. Targeting's a little annoying, but we're going to have to take out this guy first, really, because he's just got so much prop. Let's, let's, let's debuff your accuracy just so that that big attack is less likely to hit us. And there's the armor piercing coming in. Very, very nice. 
Um, we could try and stun you, but it's unlikely. You are a beast, so we get slightly extra chance. There we go. Yeah, this is going reasonably well. Oh, Rose, you could have finished it there. You could have done without that Savage Maul. Okay, Rose finishes it off at the end. Right. Little peek in here. That's what I'm looking for, stuff like that. Okay, we are good to go. Trinkets and baubles. Decent, not too bad. We got, Let's see the trinket we got as well. Berman, pretty nice. On attack miss, buffs self with accuracy. That's decent. Uh, Lysander here is taking on the Nervous Bleeder and the Sunwood Scrounger. Nice. Um, extra guard duration and gloomy. Oh, gloomy is so annoying. And hasty is pretty good. Okay, I like that. We also got her to level 2 as well. In time, Blueprint awarded. Nice. Tragic extent. Okay, we actually have access to these now. So these are our districts. These are what we can build to get extra power and abilities. They normally cost money, a lot of heirlooms, and blueprints to craft. Uh, some of them are better than others. One that we can afford right now is the Kraken Society. Not particularly good one, all things being said. Uh, but there's some really interesting and good ones out there that we can build. Some are uh, tied to specific DLCs. Some give um, specific benefits. One of them that we really, really want. Um, oh, that one's actually pretty darn good. Uh, although it costs 100 deeds. Um, one that's really good is the Puppet Theater is really nice. Um, idle Stress Relief is, is pretty good. Um, we've also got the the Bank, which is very, very good. Well, that's probably the first one we're going to try and buy. Because uh, we get gold per week. We get increased gold stacks and gem stacks, heirloom stacks, antiquarian stacks. It's all good stuff. Uh, right, so first things first, let's quickly just um, remove all of our trinkets. I think, uh, Lysander, you're going to have to go for a bit of stress relief. You can pray to a higher power. Everyone else is looking fine. In terms of in terms of getting rid of these, I think Gloomy's a good one to get rid of right off the bat here. Um, so we can get rid of Gloomy and we can lock in this at the same time, although that would cost a significant amount, so I'm not going to do that. Let's just do that for now. Right, things are looking good. Let's check who we've got. Again, as I said, we need backliners, really. Um, unfortunately, Fallon is a character I really want to take on, but a level zero, just we, we can't be taking level zeros at the minute. We have an Exorcist here. I do like the class, but I'm not going to take him on at the moment. Um, we're going to wait this week and take on someone next week, I think. Okay, uh, let me just pause while I create the next team, and we'll get back into it. Okay, we are ready with our crew. We are going to be going out and actually taking on the first boss, I think, with Renald, um, Koshkin, Basila, Basila, and Eileen as well. Um, this is going to be a pretty good one. I I'm pretty ready for this. I do just need to check my camping skills. I also need to quickly upgrade our armor for Renald here because he's lacking a little bit in that department. But otherwise, looking pretty darn good. Uh, I also need to check on my upgrades here, so I can go. I can, I can do that, um, which is going to cost quite a lot. But let's go for it now while we can. And then also, let's just take a look here. So we've got um, that, the flames, and then mold the metal. We are raising an army. We're a little bit off. Let's just see if we do portraits for. Um, the papers, we can get enough papers, and then if we do busts for these, we can get enough of them. Good, good. Okay, sword. that's good Stronger stuff. Shield. And then we Anything just need to take to a little look life. at how much it's going to cost for the next one of these, which is 16 of them. Okay, let's see if we can get to that, because that'll be helpful for next week. So we need 12 of these, so we can take... That's up to seven. And we can do eight of these. Yes, we got enough. Okay, now we can start getting level two people coming in. Very, very useful for us. Very, very useful indeed. 
Okay, and let's get into the backstory of our um, air ear. Air ear? Air ear. This is by Dr. Sandwich Junkie. Um, battered, bloodied, starving, exhausted. The rogue woman fought her way through the manor and... Um, through the manor, her ancestor called home the fleshy abominations infesting it. Every morning she'd enter, every evening she'd find her way out to camp and reread the letter her ancestor had um, sent her. Her countless other um, vague, distant blood uh, relations that came to this accursed place for their own reasons. One night, however, was different. She glanced down at the cliff uh, the mansion stood on to see the hamlet lit up with activity for the first time in months. Another fool answers the call, Felissa muttered to herself before reluctantly standing to gather her things and make her way down to the new, newly lively village. As much as it stung her pride to admit, this one woman crusade would get her nowhere but dead, or worse. Perhaps her knowledge and abilities could help this new fool succeed where she, count she and countless others before her continued to fail. So basically, she'd been going into the darkest dungeon on her own to make her way, make her mission. Um... And she's now coming to join the Hamlet to help out with the knowledge that she knows about it. So, pretty exciting stuff. I, I like to see it. Um, we're going to go and embark on. Uh, let's have a look. So, camping skills. This is an apprentice mission. We just need to check our camping skills. Um, honestly, let's let's actually check them over here because we might be able to change some stuff over. I would very much like to buy that and put it on. So, let's take off that and put on that. Coin flip seems pretty good. Um, prevent Knights of Ambush, we've got it there. Good, good. I like that too. I would like tracking as well, please. Let's put on tracking, shall we? Good stuff. And then you, you're fine as well. Okay. This is good. We're all we're all ready to go. Uh, I've trinketed everyone up already. They're all uh, rare into fight. And now I am taking some level ones into a level one mission, which is different than we'd normally be doing. We've been going into these uh, lower ones, but it is a boss fight. But main reason I'm doing this is for this guts dragon slayer. Look how good that trinket is. That trinket is fantastic. So that's why we're doing this, and we are ready to jump in with our provisions. Let's take a little bit more than we'd need. So we need. 20 for this, so let's take 24. Um, which is all of it, actually. We'll take three shovels, two of these, two of these, three of these, three of these, four of these. And then um, we'll take 16 torches. Okay, we are good to embark on our journey, ready to go. Everyone's got the right moves and everything on. Good, good, good. I think we are ready to set off, so let's embark and get into our next diary the entry just after this. Life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? Interesting. Okay, so first of all, we got a letter by Viara, packaged with a handful of gold and coins stuffed into an envelope. Mishke, I hope this letter finds you well, daughter. Even if the letter from uh, letters from me aren't something you look forward to, I know it's been a while since we've spoke, and I and 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 you prefer it that way. But we're family, and family needs to talk once in a while, even what happened with your father. I've come out of retirement, sort of. This wealthy young man is paying adventurers to seek riches on his property. And we get to keep some of what we find. This was made for me. I've never felt so alive. I don't know what sort of details I'm allowed to divulge, so I'll settle, settle it at that. I include some money for the baby, and please give your best, uh, your husband my best. You don't have to write back, but I would like to hear from you, um, just to know you're alright. Please. Really, really like that. Uh, this relationship that we're building here is very interesting. We've also got another one here from uh, Titania. Um, sleep. Expedition, then meditation. The cycle's beginning to become too familiar. The only thing that broke me through the uh, monotony was the rites that Titania prepared for a fallen heretic. A simple few words spoken above a grave. The grave was marked Arashad. The Titania would never read it. The, the, monotony began to be um, the monotony began to become comforting over a few days. Enough that Titania even avoided her drink and sh until she arrived. Nyx. A name, a cursed name that Titania would not forget. 
Memories would flood through her every time the name came to her mind. Memories of an angry priest yelling at a group of girls. Memories of two young girls clinging to each other for dear life. Memories of Nyx leaving that abbey. The memory hurt more than the others, and for the first time in a few days, Titania found herself at the bar, ordering enough for tonight and to fill her flask. Really good relationship building here. We're going to get a little bit more into that as we dive into the episode. We're heading for this room here. The boss is always at the furthest distance away from you. By the way, this party has been meticulously crafted for the boss. Uh, we've got the extra damage versus unholy here. We've got the ability to move here along with bonus move skill and bonus move skill. So we can move the necromancer as well as a bit of stun. Um, we have very good healing along with buffs from the air. And then we also have um, Eileen for the motivational, the stress heals, a little bit of stun, the grand entrance, all of the above. By the way as well, um, I am going to try my best to bring the air on um, all of the Ruins boss fights and maybe some of the other ones too, just because I think it's very thematic for her story and she's just a very good healer in general, so it works for that purpose as well. A little bit of damage off the bat there, but that's not terrible. Okay, I have some slightly annoying enemies to start off with here. Now, we don't have a ton of backline damage, but we do have the ability to bring the backline forward, so it's not as bad as you'd think. So, first things first, let's um, let's just heal ourselves and buff ourselves with some dodge. Oh, this guy stealthed him. Wow. Didn't know about that. Let's pull you forward. Graveyard slash coming in. That hurts. Uh, let's just try and take you out. Very nice, Renault. At level 2, he's going to be doing some really good damage. And there's motivational buffing accuracy for everyone. Wow. And we take Grand Entrance here to get a kill. Amazing. I've removed her um, her Take a Bow skill and replaced it with Flamox because I really want the ability to stun when needed. Uh, let's go for another good heal here. It's only 5, but it'll, it'll definitely do. There's another buff for 10 damage. Okay, motivational is insanely good. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a key skill here and helping us a ton. It doesn't buff ourselves, it only buffs everyone else in the party, but that's more than good enough. Koshkin doing some good work here. Uh, honestly, let's take this time to just heal up, and that's a, a huge heal here. That's actually worked out because we healed for six, and then there you go. Let's try and take out these bodies now. Move you forward a bit. And we can heal the party. Get everyone healed up. She is such a powerful Another healer, it's kind of insane. From our as soon as we get some abilities to buff our healing skills, she's going to go crazy. I'm gold, excited for that. Trinkets and baubles. Keep moving on. I don't know where I'm going to camp. Probably like here, maybe. We're unfortunately hitting all the traps at the minute, which isn't great. Uh, get some extra loot here. A handsome reward. For a task, task well done. Well performed. Oh, I thought it was task well done, damn. Okay. Again, this guy's probably going to go first. Oh, no. We got lucky. If we pull him forward and he gets, like, to the front, he can uh, use his stress skill. He can only use stab in the dark, which is very good for us. And we can enter with a huge hit that does some crazy damage. And now we do have this, which obviously is pretty useless in this dungeon because it's bleed. We also have this, which can buffer targets, damage, crit, and accuracy, which is really nice. But I think, for now, let's buff your dodge and heal you a bit. The animations are really nice in this character. I will say the style is a little bit off for Darkest Dungeon, but I don't mind that at all. It's, it's very much close enough. Taking quite a few slices here, but nothing we can't handle. Back to the Rinald is going to be doing some crazy good damage here. Bringing and that is a big hit. That is a big hit. Vision. The end approaches. Good, good. Try and get oh, I was gonna say, try and get a few heals on him before he gets hit again. No. But at least he comes in with the crit. Nice one. Good hit. I should have stunned him, really. This this is going to kill. I'm just going to go for the heals here. I realise he's going to get an, another turn, but I just got to hope he doesn't hit you. And he didn't. Good. This is perfect. This could kill him, so I'm not going to do that. I want to get at least one more heal here. That could also kill. I'm not going to do that either. Come on, give us a healer's turn. Please. In the fever pitch of 
There you go. Okay, we got him back to a decent amount of health. This guy's gonna get another turn here, so I'm really hoping. Again, yeah, he, he goes for the right person, and he did. And there you go. Let's end that. We'll grab this here, suit of armor. We get a nice buff to dodge and protection there. I probably should have done that on the healer, actually, but it's good on Renault either way. Dude, stop walking into the fucking no traps. In this place. You fool. Ooh, this is actually a good bit of money here. Um, Anti-venom. It's a little risky to get rid of stuff like that so early. You watch us walk into another trap here. Okay, no, we got lucky. And traps are going to be really annoying. By the way, this is going to be a bit of a longer episode than I normally do, but I, based on the fact that this series isn't super popular and we've got, like, the, the writing team and a few other people watching this, I think you guys don't mind the longer episodes, or at least I hope so. Dude, the traps are actually insane. This is too many traps. Too many traps. Okay, I got some brigands here. After this, oh, that is horrendously bad. That is so unbelievably bad. I'm gonna just sw swap here rather than heal. Oh God, I'm actually really scared for our health right now. Like, we've got quite a few people that are lower than I'd like. And we didn't get to do our uh, grand entrance either, which is annoying. Oh God, this is not good. It looks like we're just gonna use Renault as a healer here, honestly. Keep him in the back line for now. It's it's not what I'd like to use, but it's it's what's happening. Okay, that's a good heal across the board. Blanket fire is basically gonna undo all of that though, but dodge comes in. Lovely. Exposed to a killing really? Really? That is quite the crit you've hit there. Thank you. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Not a fan of this. <laughs> this went real bad. Stop with your blanket fires. God damn. Buff to crit there. Get those bodies out the way. Dude, you can't be dodging on that. Come on. I need some crit heals real bad. That's a crit heal right there. Good, good, good. More blanket fires incoming. At least they do lower damage, but it's still it's damage across the board that I don't like. And it's the fact that both of them are doing it back to back. It's taking a toll. That's another good crit heal on the right person as well. And that's a crit. Oh, beautiful. That bonus crit chance from her motivation there. Coming in clutch. That bleed is going to kill you, so we can heal up from now. Okay. This went bad, but turned out okay. <laughs> that was scary. Press this advantage. Give them that was a fire. really bad shuffle. Right, if As we get the battle here, we, yeah, we do. Okay, we're, we're going to rest after this then. Nice, surprise on our behalf this time. I like that. I stun you out just right off the bat. Bring you forward. Grand entrance on you. Oh, unfortunate miss there. Not what we want to see. That hurts. Moving you forward isn't too bad, to be honest. That's going to hurt, though. Oh, thank God for the dodge. Having you stunned is lovely, but these guys being surprised means they all get to go fit straight away next turn. Which is something that I hate about surprises. Such a terrible assault cannot be oh answered. no, she's got moved into a terrible spot here. I'm just going to move her because I need to do the group heal. It's worth it. This has not gone great to start with here. Um, stun you out. Brings you. I should be doing that instead of the pull, you know. I didn't realize that was a shuffle as well. I should be using that way more often. My bad. 
Sorry, Koshkin. My bad. Good. good. You gotta go because you have a high crit chance. A little bit of a low heal there. Good damage. That's the way to go, yeah. That's that's doing such a good job. Considering we have such a high move skill chance, it's pretty pretty much guaranteed to shuffle. This heal is, is saving us right now. Ow! Stress is definitely getting a bit too much. Hey, another crit on the right person. Good, good. Good damage. No bleed, of course. Finish that one off. Grab all of that. Open this bad boy up. Wealth beyond measure. Don't really care about another move stone. Right, alike. let's camp. I think we take the eight food, yeah. Stress is needed. Right, first things first, we want to do this to produce a trinket. That is very, very good. Does anyone have a trinket slot available? You do. Why can't I look at Renault? Anyways, let's just give you that because move resist, stun resist is great. Damage when acting and accuracy. This is fantastic, especially considering it can be given to any class. Right, so what else we got here? 50% chance for dodge, 50% chance for speed. We've got extra stress, prevent nighttime ambush. That's only on self though. We've got, let's go with that for the prevent nighttime ambush. Um, accuracy and speed. We can go with mega scouting chance. That's going to cost us the rest of our respite. Do I try and clear more stress or do I go for the buffs? I feel like buffs are more important to us. I feel like we go for the accuracy and speed. Oh, this is only for one companion. Okay, not 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 as big of a deal then. Okay, let's go for this instead then. Let's rest up. Scouting, lovely. That's that's a perfect scout actually. Miss out on one trap there. We know there's no battles coming up apart from the the next room. That trinket, such a good grab for us, 90%. Yeah, we'll take this here. Little bit worried about um, Bacilla's stress. But not to worry, we can deal with it. Okay, very easy battle here, luckily. Um, Shackles is annoying. I was going to say it'll probably crit, but luckily it didn't. Good damage on you right off the bat. Just kill you with that. Pulls the body to the front as well, which I didn't expect. Heal that up. Bump in the night south, slightly annoying. Take you out, lovely. Got negative quirk removal here, which is good. We'll see what that uh, looks like for us. Right, so Kleptomaniac would be very nice to get rid of. Mike by the Flock's fine. Both of those are pretty much fine. Imposter Syndrome is a very good one to get rid of. Imposter Syndrome can cause all sorts of act outs and issues, so I'm very happy to get rid of that. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing Right, passage. we are ready. So basically the idea is going to be here. We want to be doing a lot of stunning. Um, and yeah, pretty much it. The light, the promise Let's of go. safety. 
Hopefully we go first. Unfortunately not. Nightmare made material. Take the damage on him straight off the bat here. Just go for the party heal. Keep everyone topped up as much as we can, I think. Flamox there is hopefully going to stun. Nice one it is. Good. good. Extra unholy damage is going to be lovely. Grand entrance with a huge crit as well. Okay, this is already going very well. Down to about half HP already. This guy, we don't need to worry about too much until there's a few of them. Um, yeah, top up the healing again. That's not what I meant to do, but it's fine. Okay, this is going extremely well thus far. Um, let's go with a buff on you. Well, he's down to 1 HP already, so going pretty well. Inspiration. Well, that was that was pretty good. <laughs> Absolutely demolished. Like so demolished. What the hell how demolished that boss just got. Take all of those and we'll return to the hamlet with our heads held extremely high <laughs> wow and we get the guts dragon slayer as well which that is gonna be something that we use a lot <laughs> that is an incredibly good trinket and we actually got renault to level three here which i wasn't expecting um koshkin and eileen both get to level um two as well we did get wasting sickness which we'll have to remove straight away shock is fine robust is good Fain is annoying. Stealthy is good. Okay. A fresh irritant to some. Right. A sanguine memory to me. Do that. Let's go in here and heal that disease off of us. It's good. And you can go in here to pray. Let's see who we've got. Okay, we've actually got some level 2s here. And we have a level 2 Wraith and a level 2 Leper. Both very good classes here. Um, the Wraith especially being pretty decent stun and bleeder. And Leper, of course, being more insane frontline damage. I think we'll take both on board here. I'm a little annoyed we're not getting any backline attackers. We really need some more backline attackers. But we'll get there. We do also have a duelist, but I'm not going to take on the duelist this time. I think the uh, the Wraith and the Leper are two good ones to bring on. Of course, we have a few more dire entries to get to before the end of the episode here. I think we have two or three more, so I'll get into those now and we'll end off the episode. So next up, we have um, one from Koshkin, our bounty hunter. Meticulously stacked coin sits on the dresser. Um... Meticulously stacked coins sit on the dresser grow as um, Vadim counts them for the hundredth time, analyzing the previous excursion. The priestess to mend the wounds, a mad woman who wants to speculate and seems to dis seems disappointed there was no crowd, and a lunatic that wouldn't shut up about fire. He saw something else. He saw increases and better bargains. Um, the priestess does not uh, doesn't as for much. Um, oh, sorry, I completely messed it up. The priestess doesn't ask for much. Pah, a vow of poverty. Just means I give nothing to you for my hard work. The mad woman seems to not care for the money and wants something else, besides pulling out useless trinkets to our goal. The madman is muttering, um, is a muttering lunatic with a veneer of sanity. The fire tends to work a lot. The one, Dismas, at least collects a fee, though a bit dour. Perhaps someone who understands work for pay. He stacks the coins as he muses. He's being called um, miserly, hoarding, greedy, all foolish insults, and all irrelevant. I read that very poorly, but it's a very good uh, diary entry. I apologize. And the last one here is um, a joint one between Hestia and Chaos. For the first time in many moons, Hestia awoke saw. Awoke saw. Not from the expedition. That went swimmingly. The sawness was from a long night with the brute. A brute the people all around called Chaos. 
The night sw swam in her mind. It was hard to remember specifics anymore. She remembered many challenges thrown between others. Darts uh, she won, as well as an arm wrestle. The fool, um, the, that muscle, thought that muscle was the most important thing. Truly, it was her technique. Drinking she lost, shown clearly by the tankard still littering the bar. The bar? She was still in the bar. She groaned out as he stood, um, noting the broken table nearby that Chaos seemed to be content as using as a makeshift bed. She also saw glaive marks on the floor. What were those from? Just then she remembered the patrons attempting to remove them. The glaive marks were fr um, from her stopping Chaos from, from removing them entirely. She uh, tried to remember what else occurred. She started uh, um, as a hand patted her shoulder. A stumbling chaos seemed to have awoken as she ponders pushing an empty tankard towards her. A crooked but infectious grin spread amongst his face. Another round, he slurred, after a few attempts. So these two are, are uh, drinking buddies now, which is pretty interesting. I really like that. That's a good progression. But yes, now we're definitely getting into um, our level 2 phase, which is really nice. We'll actually take a little look to see what we've got coming up next. I mean... T taking on one boss is good. We also have a new wandering boss here, which is the um, Dwimalaki, which is going to be interesting. Um, we have the Prophet here, Plague Doctor, 400% damage on ranged skills. Wow, that seems interesting. <laughs> um, we've got... That's interesting. Um, we've got Dog Whistle... We've got another um, Shepherd's Garb, which is decent. That's for the Wraith. That's good. We've got for the Occultist here. That's actually really good. Minus bleed skill chance means less chance to bleed on healing. And we've also got this in the Sunward Isles, which is interesting too. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of good stuff going on here. We're, we're, we're raring up and I'm glad we've got level 2s incoming now. That's really, really nice to see. Now, one thing I just want to ask you guys... What is your current opinion on leveling people up via the stagecoach? Because, for example, we have a level 2 um, exterminator here who has brilliant, wow, plus 75% resolve XP. Um, yeah, so the, we have a level 2, we have a level 1 in our ranks. Now, personally, it would be quicker for the series. We'd get people up to rank faster if we traded them for higher ranks that come in the stagecoach. But on the other hand, they would lose the um, the quirks that they have and get a new set of quirks, which I don't particularly like the idea of. And it would reset their stress to zero, which means we wouldn't have to deal with it, which is kind of cheaty. It's how the game is normally played, but it's not really how we're playing it. So it's really up to you guys if you want me to do that or not. Personally, I don't mind either way. I'm fine to stick with the characters and level them up naturally. It mean, means the series will be longer, um, but I'm, I don't mind that. So it's really up to you guys uh, either way. Let's just check what we've got going on here, actually. Um... Accuracy for speed. Honestly, I'm going to buy that. That's that's potentially useful. Um, I would like to grab this. Ooh, we're actually really close to that. Let's um, let's just do that. And available six trinkets. Just because trinkets can be really useful. I want to get this upgraded as fast as we can. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.